Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to episode number 99, I can't believe it, of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. There's a lot of really exciting stuff happening uh, with this blog right now. A lot of you uh, have been uh, uh, sending me all sorts of notes about what's happening. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that stuff near the end of the show. But right now I just want to dive into this wine. Uh, probably about a week or so ago, I was browsing the aisles at uh, BevMo, and I found this guy right here for $12. This is the A to Z 2010 Oregon Pinot Gris, um, and gosh, I don't review, I don't think I've ever done a Pinot Grigio before for you guys, and so I know I've never done a Pinot Gris, so I thought maybe I'd talk a little bit about what's going on with the names. Uh, Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio, they're the exact same grape. Uh, the only difference really is style. The Pinot Gris grape um, has its origins in France. Uh, Pinot meaning pine, gris meaning gray, because it has a grayish kind of skin to it. Uh, and then of course, you know, uh, my buddy Dave's going to be mad at me for saying this, but essentially uh, the Italians have stolen this variety from the French and uh, everywhere you go, you see Pinot Grigio. And unfortunately, a lot of that stuff, and a lot of the stuff that you're paying $20 for, for that Pinot Grigio, um, it's, it's really crappy. Uh, and so I decided, you know, when I saw the Pinot Gris, I said, let's kind of get into this um, because I feel like a Pinot Gris from Oregon is a lot less likely to be crappy. Uh, haven't tried this one before, so we'll see. So essentially, you know, in the United States, if you're making uh, Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio, it's up to you to give it the name, just like the Syrah Shiraz type of thing. And a lot of times it's indicative of the style. We would expect the um, Pinot Grigio to be uh, a lot lighter in style, a lot more just, you know, uh, zesty and easy drinking. Um, with the uh, with the Pinot Gris, the assumption is that it's going to be a lot more, you know, refined and, and, and nuanced. So let's just get into this and see what's happening. You know, color-wise, it's it's definitely that pale type of yellow um, with a few little golden notes just bouncing off of it. On the nose, a whole lot of honey right off the bat. And almost like a little honey type of hay type of, almost like a yeasty type of play. I mean, it, it almost has some, on the nose, like characteristics that I would use to describe a lot of sparkling wines, except for there's no effervescence attacking my nose right now. Hay, honey, yeast. You're getting like that wet rock, that minerality on the nose. And it's all very, um, it's all very clean, right? It, it, uh, it, it it gives a, an appearance of being very refreshing, which, you know, on these, as these days get longer and as they, these days get hotter, isn't that what you want, right? So let's, uh, let's see how it goes on the palate here. Wow. So, I mean, one thing I would say is compared to a typical... Pinot Grigio that, that I've had in the past is that the uh, on the palate, this wine has the appearance of being a whole lot more full, right? It's, it's hitting every area of my mouth with all these different nuanced flavors. Um, as I'm talking to you right now, I mean, the thing that's really lasting is just this ridiculous acidity. So uh, again, this is a wine that you're definitely going to throw down with some food, and for $12 a bottle, it's a wine that you probably will uh, throw down with some food. Yeah, so the weight is, um, it's not thin by any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, it's definitely like, lighter weight with just a little bit of viscosity. I mean, you can definitely feel it. Mm. 
notes of lemon, notes of pear. Um, again, there's like this flintiness, this minerality to it. Um, and it's really just good, refreshing, clean flavors. Um, I'm liking this wine quite a bit, and, I, and I'm really happy that, that this guy was available for only $12, and I'm also really happy that it's a great alternative to those of you that are, are buying those uh, $20 uh, mass-marketed uh, Pinot Grigios, although you are going to find this at a whole lot of places. I mean, I, I feel a lot more... Uh, uh, I feel a lot better about myself recommending this wine to you. Uh, I'm going to give this one of those solid 88s right there. This wine is given really everything that you can expect. It's nothing over the top. It's nothing overpowering. This is really just, it's like a... It's, uh, in, when people talk about beer, they talk about session beers. This is a session wine. This is just a wine that, that, that you're drinking as you're doing other stuff around the house. And, and, uh, you got to respect that. 88 points. Really like this one a lot. Um, <clears throat> so in other news, uh, there's a lot of things happening with this blog right now. Yesterday morning, I found out that this little show right here uh, had been nominated for the 2013 uh, Wine Blog Awards in the category of Best Photography or Best Original Photography and Video. I definitely know that I was not nominated for my pictures because I don't like most of them. Uh, I definitely know that, you know, filming this on, uh, on my little iPhone right here, you know, the quality of this video ain't that great. I don't edit. I don't even have like a little you know title page at the beginning of this anymore um so i'm guessing uh it was all about the content and and that's kind of amazing because uh you know i i'm not that big of a fan of my own show but i'm glad that some folks out there are and and i've been getting nothing but uh positive positive stuff from you guys you know i can't lie to you i i love this show i love it i i, I can't be that humble uh anyways i i really am i'm just overwhelmed uh, by the responses that I've been getting from different people and, and I'm just so happy about it. it. It makes me a happy, happy man. That badge that you see on my homepage, that means everything to me. It really does. Um, and so, you know, if you did feel compelled to uh, vote for this little show right now, I, I do have the link below and, and, and please click away and, and check out all the other blogs that have been nominated for, for this category and for all the other categories. Um, I think you're really going to find some great stuff out there. Uh, also, not to be overshadowed, we do still have a contest going on. I do still have this bag right here full of silver oak swag, and I'm going to divvy that out uh, to some of you guys. Go ahead, and uh, I got a link down below just to take you to the post about all the rules for this, and and, and please, please enter. Uh, there's only a few folks in it so far, so if you add your name to the list, it's very, very likely that you could win this thing. Oh, I'm so happy right now, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Everybody, stay rad. Stay.